Charlie Todd is the founder of Improv Everywhere. You may not have seen him or may not know him by face, but you certainly know Improv Everywhere. Nice to meet you, pal. Nice to meet you, Jake. And... Improv Everywhere is the thing, right? It's this, it's this movement, it's this situation where you, you bring people together and you just play massive, friendly pranks, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Improv Everywhere is a New York City-based prank collective. Uh, we say that we cause scenes of chaos and joy in public places. So on this roof, we, uh, you decided to do this massive stunt when U2 was playing at Madison Square Garden, yeah? Exactly. So I used to live in this building, I had access to the roof, and my roommate was a drummer in a band, and I had heard them cover U2 songs before. So it was perfect. U2 is known for these surprise rooftop concerts. They did one famously for the Where the Streets Have No Name video in 1987. Yeah. So I thought, why not put a fake U2 with a real drum kit and a real PA system and uh, you know wigs for Bono and all that, and have them play five U2 songs an hour before the real show started right over there at did, Madison Square Garden. Did it convince the people? Did the people start coagulating? It did, because at the time, there's you know probably 20,000 U2 fans in the neighborhood walking up to the venue, yeah. and hundreds of them were stopped in the street out here in 8th Avenue, uh, screaming, going crazy. Really? And you know the band was great. Bono was OK, yeah. uh, but convincing enough from four stories up in the air. That's so cool. And did you film that? Yeah. We filmed it. Um, the police showed up. Uh, fake Bono was handcuffed. I was handcuffed. On the roof? Yeah. Did you get to the roof? The, well, what was funny is what I put What were the a, charges pressed against you, Charlie Todd? The charges were unreasonable noise. And I have to admit, we were pretty unreasonably loud. <laughs> I mean, you know, 7 o'clock at night, but there's a lot of apartments around here. You have I don't to be know. unreasonable to get things done. Here's one of my favorite things that you guys have done. I mean, you guys have done everything from the, the Grand Central thing, right, where you're fr frozen in time. Right. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, genius, uh, truly genius. Thank you. Because you know what you're doing? You're reading life back into the people. Right. Right? Yeah, I mean, what, what Improv Everywhere is about is causing a scene and giving somebody a great experience. So rather than embarrassing somebody or humiliating somebody, we want to give somebody an awesome story. Like, I was walking through Grand Central Terminal, and the guy in front of me suddenly stopped in frozen place, and I thought that was weird. And then I slowly looked around and realized everybody around me was also frozen. Very, so. very uh, heady. But here's the favorite thing, I, and, and what I love about it is that there's commentary there, probably unintentional. Our No Pants Subway Ride is an event we do every January. Of course. And the cops stopped that back in 2006. Uh, there was one rookie cop who just got onto the wrong train at the wrong time and saw that there were about 10 people on that train in their underwear in the middle of winter. He stopped the train. I love that he got on the train at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not the other way around. No, it no, was no. his fault. <laughs> yeah. It was our very planned event. That's right. So, you know, he showed up and didn't know how to handle it. And he asked somebody, you know, why are you in your underwear? <laughs> what did they say? Well, they said what I told them to say, which was, you know, oh, I just forgot my pants. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's cold. It sucks. Yeah. Uh -huh. He called for backup. Now there's 20 cops on the subway platform. One Ta for each naked person. Well, we actually had about 150 naked people, so it was bedlam. Uh, we got charged with disorderly conduct, but honestly, it was very orderly until the cop made it very disorderly. That's right. But we went to court, and it got dismissed because it's not illegal to be in your underwear in New York. We, we don't break the law. You know, we might break a, a store policy or the MTA regulation or whatever, but we're not trying to break the law. We're not trying to get arrested. But every now and then, somebody will call the police on us or somebody will freak out. You know, when you break social norms in such a large, coordinated way, sometimes it can freak people out. You sort of figured out your own little niche. Well, really what, I'm just very lucky that I started doing these pranks in the 2000s and not the 1990s or before, because the internet is really what enabled me to, sure. to have the success that I've had. I feel like people have been doing pranks in public places or happenings in the 60s and whatnot, but there's no real documentation. There's like one photograph, and it's you can't really tell what's going on. So the fact that when I started, like digital cameras, like still cameras were cheap, and everybody had one, and mini DV and digital video was easy, and then YouTube came along. So it's just exciting right now for a young comedian who moves to New York. You don't have to wait around for somebody else to approve of your, your work. You don't have to get greenlit by somebody. Go do your own stuff, put it on YouTube, and millions of people might see it. Is this sort of the theme of your book that just came out last year, Causing a Scene? Yeah, Causing a Scene is the behind-the-scenes story of improv everywhere. It shows the, uh, the details and some of the funniest moments from some of our best pranks over the last nine years. And uh, yeah, and it is that, that message of, you know, get your work out there. Uh, you know, don't wait for somebody else to give you permission to have fun. Yeah. Thanks for bringing joy to so many people's lives, Charlie Todd. Thank you for uh, having me, Jay. Well, thank, thank you for being had. <laughs> I appreciate it. A pleasure to meet you. Charlie yeah. Todd. For more information, you can go to the website, improveverywhere.com. That's right. Improveverywhere.com. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you.